Hi YouTube. Well, today I'm I, I try and do positive videos. Uh, bring things that are constructive and you know good things that might help you out in your particular situation doing what you want to do. But occasionally I have a misfire and so I want to bring that up also so that you can avoid the same mistakes that I've made. About a year ago I got one of these cameras. Hype IFX. It's supposed to be a 16 megapixel 1080p video camera. Okay, we'll go with that as a working hypothesis. I did a few things with it and rather than go through and demonstrate a bunch of video and things that you may look at and say, yeah, these don't really relate to each other. Uh, I tried to do something where I take kind of a side-by-side -side comparison. Actually, I took a picture with the camera, and then I took a picture with my iPhone camera of the same scene, and the best I could frame it in the same way as accurate a comparison as I could make. So let me show you that little click back and forth between the two images. Okay, first we have the iPhone image. Now this is not a real highlight situation, this is kind of just your average picture. You don't have studio lighting, you just have ambient light around, you're taking a picture of something, Bingo. There you go. And now the IFX Hype 1080p action cam that's supposed to be 16 megapixels. Okay. So there you go. Now back to the iPhone picture. Back to the IFX picture. Okay. So, some thoughts here. The IFX camera is supposed to be 16 megapixels. My rear-facing iPhone camera is a, it's an iPhone 6S and I looked it up. The rear-facing camera on that particular iPhone is 12 megapixels. Right off the bat we're looking at something that should be, well, about 30% finer in this IFX, just based on the megapixels. And yet it's, you know, probably 30% less resolution or, or, you know, less clarity. We won't say resolution because the resolution is about 16 megapixels. But resolution doesn't equal the fineness or the quality of the captured image. It's just how big it is. You know, I thought this, I thought this would be a, a good little walkabout kind of camera, but as I started using it, I can walk around with my iPhone and actually get a better image or a better video uh, than what this thing is capable of producing, apparently. You be the judge. I mean, you're looking at the same pictures I'm looking at. In conclusion, this is maybe going to be a dash cam for me, and I can just mount it somehow. I can't do that with my iPhone very easily. So this has got some plus features. The video, mm, it's got to be like B-roll stuff. It's got to be just moving through, transitioning from one video to another where I want higher quality video on either my Canon video camera or in the case where I'm out and about and don't have the video camera, I can use the iPhone as kind of a stopgap in between to get pretty good quality video and a lot of convenience. Tell me what you think. Uh, leave a comment 
if you'd, uh, you know, if you think this video was helpful, then give it a thumbs up. If you think it might help somebody else, then share it with them. If you'd like to get more content like this, then subscribe and ring the bell, and you'll be notified when new content gets posted. Thanks for watching the video, and as always, comment as you see fit. Till the next video, see you later.